I genuinely believe that those foot soldiers who are happy to stand on the ground, despite the state being against them, no matter kisi ka bhi government ho, and with the police against them, with let's say the other groups and their lawyers against them, should be respected to the core because we fail to value their importance so much. It's only us who do. As a community, only we do this. You should see the, the constituency from which Raja Singh wins. It's such a difficult constituency for a Hindu to contest and win. The only other person who can pull off such a victory in that place is Sri Yogi Adityanath who won from Western Uttar Pradesh. Nobody else can do this. Very few people can do this. Three. I always say this, your frame of reference, your air conditioned atmosphere nahi ho sakta hai. Vahaan pe, India International Center mein discussion nahi ho raha hai. Vahaan pe ladai chal rahi hai ki Bhagya Lakshmi Mandir, jiske basis pe Bhagya Nagar naam padha tha, usko, uska access milega ki nahi milega. And you should see the sheer numbers the man commands. Okay. That tells you that that lone warrior not only has the guts but also has the magnetic pull to ensure that he has massive mass support. Such people, if they were from the other side, would have been worshipped. Okay? Now in this sense, you also have to realize, having said that, having said that, you also have to learn something else. Notwithstanding my disagreements and fundamental, let's say, uh, uh, bridge, I mean, let's say, gulf which will never be bridged with Mr. Ovesi and his brother, the fact of the matter is, you don't have Hindu Ovasis at this point. Too many. You can only count them. What they have done for their community and the manner in which they champion their community's causes without an iota of being shamed by the media is something for us to learn from. I say this. I say this not because I admire the mission that they have set out for, but I want such people on our side. See, you have to realize, Raja Singh's biggest paralysis is that he does not have the same kind of support that Akbar Dunavesi had when he made such nasty statements about Kaushalyama and Sitama. We are immediately looking for his mistakes. The other side literally gets away with murder, makes all kinds of statements. There is no difference between the statement made before the Rangila Rasul article was written against Sitama and what Agubruddin Avisi ultimately said in 2012. No difference whatsoever. But the kind of, let's say, support that they gave, nobody in his community was sitting and telling, Aapko ye nahi bolna tha, wo nahi bolna tha, nothing of that sort. Because he knows what is to be done on the street. Street ka maap dand AC nahi ho sakta hai ya academic campuses nahi ho sakte hai. Even within academic campuses, can you compare DU with JNU? Can you compare DU with TISS or Ashoka University? Within academia, agar itna sara diversity hai, how, how on earth are we doing this? This is what I call the, 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 how do I put it? The elitization of the Hindu mind. Har cheez ko aap sirf because you are thinking, what is the difference between They don't. So don't immediately ask yourself, what would the Khan market elites think of this particular leader? Makes no difference. The Khan market elites don't matter. This leader matters for your survival. As far as people of Bhaganagar are concerned, you, anybody who knows the painful history of Hyderabad, Hyderabad, I use the word Hyderabad, should actually ask, can the TRS as a political party ally with the Oasis? The people of Telangana were the ones to bear the brunt of the atrocities committed by the Nizam, either through, let's say, taxes, he didn't become the richest man because of the wealth being generated in the particular place. It was on the backs of the peasants. If there is a communist movement in the heartland of Telangana, it is because of the peasant rebellion that was started against the Nizam. So when that is happening and it is being led by a particular party, 
which would actually be saying, I'm sorry, I'm not going to ally with people who would strip women on Hindu festivals and make them do the traditional dance naked during Dasara. This is the history. The Hindu population was used as the hostage population at the time of Operation Polo. The private militia of the Nizams, the Razakars, would come with serrated knives looking for people to kill, would tie the men together and watch and make the rest of the family watch as they were burnt. All kinds of atrocities were committed. You finally have one man standing up to them. I'm sorry, I'm not going to give up on that person at all for the Khan market elites. I relate more to this fellow than to anybody else.